ala mochanda kate news now former mungiki leader maina njenga on monday appeared before the makadara law court after he was on sunday night set free after an alleged abduction over the weekend now njenga who is reported to have been abducted alongside his aide felix lakeshe was dropped off in banana area kiambu county at around 10 pm according to njenga the abductors blindfolded him and lakeshe before driving away now njenga is now asking the court to issue protection orders against police officers over harassment his release came hours after azmir laumoja coalition uh, raised the alarm accusing the police of orchestrating the abduction willi lusige reports a makadara court has been urged by lawyers representing former mungiki leader maina njenga to issue protection orders against police officers over harassment lawyers representing njenga told makadara chief magistrate tito gesora on monday that on saturday evening around 10 pm njenga and lekishe were abducted by hooded police who knew they were to appear in court on monday this court has jurisdiction under section 8 of the magistrates act to protect its subjects, because being accused persons before this court, they are the mandate of this court, and this court is called upon to issue such protective <coughs> orders. The court further heard that Njenga was later dumped in Limuru Banana Estate on Sunday. The lawyer reporting that after hours of engagement, Njenga was once more blindfolded as the abductors drove off to another destination. Tulifungwa vizuri sana uso. Gari kaenda kama masamawiri. Alafu ikachenjiwa zingine tuna tunachenjiwa. Kama umefungwa tu. Na ujui unaenda wapi? Wala umesimama wapi? Ama pale unaenda kwa nyumba gani? Hiyo ni tocha ya hali ya juu sana. E, Kenya injimesha kuwa na uhuru. Njenga was in court for pre-trial of his case where he was charged with being in possession of pangas and rungus among other dangerous weapons. His lawyer requested for the confiscated items including mobile phones by the police to be returned to the accused. He was released by the persons who had abducted him. So briefly today we are in court and we have raised that issue and the court has indicated that it will form substantively in uh, it will inform his judgment when evidence is taken the dpp denied knowing anything about the abduction and only learned of it in the medium no one should be treated uh, or subjected to inhuman and degrading treatment and if at the end of the day it is demonstrated that there was such treatment and it impacted on the due process and the trial, this trial, then it will definitely, you will know that uh, it will definitely count towards what kind of decision I will make at the end of the day. In July, together with his aide and brother, Jenga was charged with being in possession of Maasai Rungus, bows and arrows, among other things. The case will be heard on December 3rd. Willy Lusige, KTN News. Nairobi. Standard Group partners with multi-choice